Hey, what's up, guys? Coming to you with another What's Next. This is on former two-time world title challenger, Sergey Derevinchenko. He's currently my number four middleweight in the world right now. That's 160 pounds. Um, right now, he's highly rated in the WBC. He is number one in the WBC. They haven't mandated him to fight for the title next, but a lot of people think that that's what's going to happen. So let's run him through the top 10 and see, though, because nothing's confirmed on Dario Vinchenko yet. Let's run him through the top 10 and see what's next for Sergey Dario Vinchenko. So Dario Vinchenko is coming off that uh, very close uh, unanimous decision loss to Triple G Gennady Golovkin, where he challenged for the IBF title. Really put it on Golovkin in the second half of the fight, really uh, beat him up. It was a good it was a good battle and triple g walked out with a close decision um and the world title so here we go let's take a look at the top 10 we start with number one super champion canelo alvarez um i guess anything's possible now canelo is um my you know a lot of people think he's going to be going straight to a triple g uh third fight a rubber match in september but i really think canelo's going to be interested in just um maybe fighting later in the year uh you know having a, a first fight in july august september area and then maybe fighting in december like he did in 2018 um 2018 was the year he tested positive in the may fight with um triple g got scratched and pushed back to september he fought triple g after a year layoff beat him and then came back three months later and kicked off his, his, his own contract against Rocky Fielding and dominated him. And then, you know, he came back after that and fought five months later in May. So, um, you know, I think Canelo uh, would be interested in doing the same kind of schedule because of the coronavirus pandemic. Um, and I do think he wants to fight twice a year. Uh, I think that's big for him and big for DAZN, who he's with. So, um, you know, uh, Derry Vinchenko, I think, could be an option, but I'm going to lean towards the less likely. I'm not sure he wants to face a guy like Derry Vinchenko and then follow that up with a fight against uh, Triple G, you know, right after that. So I don't think so, but definitely could be a possibility. Number two is IBF champion Triple G Gennady Golovkin, a rematch for Derry Vinchenko. Um, Triple G has a mandatory due next, and I don't think he's looking at Derry Vinchenko, at least not right now. Um, you know, I think he, 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 he believes Derry Vinchenko would have to earn that rematch back and Derry Vinchenko hasn't done anything since they fought. So, um, right now I don't think he's on Triple G's radar. Again, I think Triple G wants to make, uh, his mandatory defense of his title and then face Canelo right after that. So, uh, for now, Derry Vinchenko's not on his radar. Number three is undefeated WBC champion, Jermall Charla. Now, this is a fight that I think is going to happen. Gary Vinchenko's ranked number one in the WBC. There hasn't been a mandatory WBC title fight in a while, in uh, well over a year. Um, I couldn't even tell you the last time there was a mandatory WBC title fight. Uh, and, you know, Charlo is looking to get big names on his list, and these guys are both promoted by top rank. So, I mean, by the PBC. So, I absolutely believe this is going to be the next fight for Jamal Charlo is against Gary Vinchenko. It makes sense. Derry Vinchenko's been looking good, and he's a number one contender, so why not? So I do believe this fight is very likely to happen next. Number five, well, number four is Derry Vinchenko. Number five in the division is undefeated WBO champion Demetrius Andre. Um, I don't see it happening next. Not to say I completely rule it out, but PBC would have to work with Matchroom, and they have options. The PBC does. They have a fight with... Um, with uh, Charlo, and if Charlo goes in another direction and doesn't take on him or Chris Eubank, they can match him up with Chris Eubank, possibly Matt Korobov later in the year. There's, there's a, uh, you know, it would just be high risk, and Andre's not a big name, and he's just an ugly style. So I really think that the PBC keeps Derry Vinchenko away from Andre, so I don't see this one. Number six is Chris Eubank Jr. Well, I think Charlo, if he doesn't face Derry Vinchenko, he's going to face Chris Eubank Jr. But if for some reason Charlo wanted to take a stay busy fight in between facing one of those two guys, then I think the PBC probably likely matches Derry Vinchenko and Chris Eubank against each other next. Because both those guys are going to be looking for decent opponents. Um, and if the winner was guaranteed like Jamal Charlo in, uh, for the title, then I think it's very possible these two guys could lock horns. So 
yeah, I, I think this one would be possible, but I but I don't think it's going to happen because I think Charlo is going to face Derry Vinchenko, and if he doesn't, he's going to face Chris Eubank. So I don't see them locking up against each other, but it, it technically could happen, so I wouldn't completely rule it out. Number seven is WBA regular champion uh, Ryota Murata of Japan. I don't see this one. This would be PBC working with top rank. I think Murata is going to have um, a mandatory third fight with Rob Brandt next, and then I think Derry Vinchenko obviously is going to face Charlo, but um, could it happen? I guess, but again, top rank working with the PBC, it's not a mandatory fight. It's not a huge fight, you know, in terms of uh, public view, so I don't see this one. Um, number eight is Rob Brandt, former WBA champion. He's with top rank. It's even less of an appealing fight uh, to try to go for it and cross the street than the, the Murata fight, so I'm not seeing this one. Number nine is Jaime Minguia, the undefeated former junior middleweight champion. I highly doubt it. The PBC and Golden Boy don't really work together unless it's a mandatory fight. Minguia is moving his way up the WBC rankings, but I and I think he's number two there, but I don't think the WBC is going to mandate Minguia versus Dario Vincenco. They could, but I think they're going to let Dario Vincenco fight Charlo next for the title. And again, PBC and... and uh, PBC and Golden Boy working together. Unless it's a mandatory fight, it's not going to get made. Um, and then, uh, let me see here. We got number uh, 10, Matt Korobov, um, which would be... I think this fight could happen if Charlo passes on Derry Vinchenko and chooses to face Chris Eubank. Then because Matt Korobov is with the PBC, um, I think Derry Vinchenko and Matt Korobov could fight each other. Uh, you know, to get, get themselves in line to mandate a title shot. Uh, next, I think it's very possible. Gorbov is uh, recovering from the soldier injury, uh, the shoulder injury that he suffered last year in the Chris Eubank fight, and um, he's, you know, I'm sure he'll be back, you know, second half of the year before the end of the year's up. And I think Derry Vinchenko, if he doesn't get the title shot, I think he'd be down to wait around uh, a little bit and face Gorbov later, just to get the bigger name opponent. So that's it for the top ten with Derry Vinchenko. So what do I think Derry Vinchenko is going to do next? Uh, I honestly think it's going to be a title fight with um, with uh, Jamal Charlo. Um, and if that doesn't happen, I think Matt Korobov is very likely. Um, you know, after that, it probably just a stay busy fight if he doesn't get one of those two because, um, you know, but but I, I highly doubt Charlo's going to pass on the fight because Charlo has been looking for Triple G, Gennady Golovkin, anybody big in the top 10 outside of crossing the street, you know, for Demetrius Andre. I really think because this is an in-house fight, it's PBC, and this guy's the number one contender, I really believe that the, the, w, the WBC is going to order Charlo to make a mandatory against um, against Derry Vinchenko, and these two guys are going to lock horns. So we'll see what happens, but that's it for Sergey Derry Vinchenko. His what's next, my number four middleweight in the world right now. I hope you enjoyed it. True boxing, you've been hit with the truth.